Okay, so I think it is time to finally address after a lot of comments, concerns, accusations, all of that, and just to be honest and tell you guys what is that white substance, powdery substance that's been in the back of most of my videos. So let's do that right now. <music> put new wheels on his, what is this? <laughs> Honda, look how shiny the car ruined, look at it. I thought this said unk. I was like, okay, unk, go off. <laughs> but they're so nice. So we're going into Cowtown right here to get some either goat's milk or turkey bone broth or something. Uh, I always add some liquid back to the, oh, I thought it said, <laughs> I thought it said no pets a lot. I was like, Wait, 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 there's a, there's a joke. What do sheep wear to the beach? A bikini, and, and also, they're in pride gear. <laughs> the titties, the sheep titties. I'm also gonna grab some pumpkin pate and some digestive uh, probiotic and prebiotic enzymes. They do not have fur, so we don't need that. Well, Sophie does. Oh my God, I thought, I thought that was a real dog. There's no kitty milk there, so we gotta go down here. Austin's grabbing Benny some tracheas, which is disgusting. <laughs> Oh, there he is grabbing those necks. Okay, this is the aisle, and I hope they've got some sort of milk. They're usually out, it's like a really hot commodity, but if they are out of the goat's milk, hold on, let me take a look here. Oh my God, they have all three. So we're gonna do the goat's milk because that's their fave. This is also a really good one they love. Oh, of course. Okay, look at him wearing an Ed Hardy shirt, an actual vintage one. Leggings, I feel like they're cute. What would Kim Kardashian do? Motto of the day. <laughs> okay, here's our Walmart haul. Also, look at what we got. We got the Gordon Ramsay. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. We put it right at the bottom. We got the Gordon Ramsay chicken pot pie to try and a bunch of other shit. Look at these air fried onions. We got some salmon, some actual fresh meat over there, some goldfish. Here, look, vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> and this is my favorite mouthwash of all time. It is the best. This guy's like, please don't break in my car. Don't bother. It will not start. <laughs> Surprise everyone, look we got, oh my god, I'm gonna get sprayed. We just put in new grass on our front lawn. We finally did the front lawn. Look at you guys. We're not sure what we're gonna do, but um, like uh, decorative wise. So basically you can kind of see like the squares right now. So it's just put in, we just did it yesterday. So it has to grow all together and we have to keep watering it. It's looking really, really good, I'm so happy. And then we can decide what we wanna do after like stones or flowers or plants. Or I don't even know what, but at least we have a front lawn. It took, it took a while, but we're so excited. But yeah, we just gotta keep it watering so that it all grows together. Yeah, but we got lots of help from our fat friends and family and I love it, it looks so good. Yeah, you bring them up. Crush the Funyuns. Here's the chicken pot pie, Chef Ramsay. I didn't even know this was in Canada. I'm so excited to give it a try. Not tonight, tonight we are going to have Walmart salmon, ah! <laughs> it's fine, whatever. I don't care even if it's, oh my God, that was like a loud smack. I don't care. Atlantic salmon, and we're gonna cut it in half and then air fry it. Rule of thumb, don't go to Walmart on a Sunday afternoon. Like it was so busy, so incredibly busy. Double barbecue smokehouse burger with extra sauce on it. My hair is crazy. And then, what do you want? Grilled chicken ranch. Is that just the burger or the combo? Uh, just the burger. Anything else? And, sorry, could I actually get rid of the smokehouse? Um, can I just get two grilled chicken ranch wraps? Oh. You don't want the burger anymore? Sorry, uh, no, I don't want the burger. Could I get one grilled chicken ranch wrap and one crispy chicken ranch wrap? Anything else? That's it. I mean, I was gonna get a bottle of water. We have water at home. <laughs> we don't have bottled water at home. We can get at Save On Foods. Oh, true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have to go to Save On Foods because they have like these different salad options. There's like everything bagel, salad, a whole bunch of different ones. So Walmart had like just avocado ranch, which I love. He hates avocado, so. Oh, she probably thought I was giving her the finger. <laughs> We're just like the worst people at Dairy Queen right now. Okay, why is Austin's mirror so clear? Like, hello, this is the clearest mirror I've ever seen. Me dirtying it. <laughs> we are ootin' a boot today, as the Canadian would say. <gasps> oh, what the hell? I just posted like 800 snaps 
or yeah, snap. Snaps to my snap story and the Instagram story. How chaotic was that Dairy Queen order? Like actually, I <laughs> cannot wait to go home and make salmon. Well, not like right away. Like that was our, that's our lunch. But I think we're gonna have a late supper because it's so beautiful outside today. So we're gonna do some housework, some house cleaning, get the lawn in check. Um, yeah, not not really cool stuff. I had my appointment with my doctor for my tonsil, the tonsil stones, if you guys remember. And they phoned me and they were like, she can't do in-person phone calls today. She can only do over the phone ones. So I was like, that's fine, right? Because I just need I just need a referral. Like she's not an ENT doctor, right? ENT, sorry, ears, nose, throat. So so I just need a referral from my doctor. Anyway, so she phoned me and basically said, like, yeah, I remember your tonsil issues. I like I know what you're talking about. However, I would just need to see them in person. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> appointment so I, she's like just phone in reception book in so i have to phone in again and book in with her and i'm like this is so hectic they're not like crazy i don't like need them out it's just so annoying to like pull out tonsil stones all the time so and like always feeling them like inflamed and shit so it just sucks so it's just not a rush but see look they have mexican style street corn smokehouse Broccoli Crunch Nashville Hot Pizza Ranch. And, but I wanna try this everything, like everything but the bagel, bye. Hi guys, we just went to Dollarama. We put most of the stuff away because it was just like cleaning products and like gardening stuff. This is a sprinkler because of our new lawn. Like it's really not interesting at all. Austin got some candy. I got this Barbie. I don't really like candy, but like packaging hello and it was a dollar. So I was like, put it on my story. <laughs> Anyways, I'm doing a TikTok on this. I don't get paid for TikTok, but I enjoy doing TikTok, which is also sad. I don't know, just use a fresh lime. He's trying to have a Corona. Oh, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> We're watching the Stanley Cup final game. I feel like Canadians should be paid for, I, I say this all the time, but like, I didn't realize, you know the guy that like, does like a macro, ma micro or macro? A macro photo, like, it, he, I think he does one once a day. He puts so much effort, there's so much creativity, like, I could never, and I, I didn't even realize that he is Canadian, so he doesn't get paid for his TikToks. Like, I feel like he deserves to be paid. Like, whenever I say that, people are like, you're not creative. I'm like, that's not what I'm saying. But like, I still get views. I still should get paid for the views. But like, anyway, but I feel like somebody like him, like he gets millions of views, his, his content is so, fun to watch it's creative people are engaging in it so anyways that was a little rant but anyways tiktok <laughs> i saw these the dollarama they had uh glosses and then this was a liquid lip set but we have been wanting for a while a window bird feeder and there was literally one left at dollarama and there's a little suction cup don't know if i trust that but if it doesn't work austin is like the most innovative handyman smart beautiful charismatic amazing person keep going keep going <laughs> What else? Keep Resourceful, not ugly, <laughs> handsome, amazing person. Anyways, so he will find a way if the suction cup doesn't work because sometimes, you know what? My suction cup doesn't work and he makes it work. So <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, it was stupid. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a millennial. I'm going to set up the spring cup. Okay, and then yeah, so you just put the bird feed in here, obviously. I, I don't think we've ever had a bird feeder. I used to have like this phobia of birds, but like they're chill now. I like to eat them. <laughs> that was insane to say. Uh, there was like four different kinds of bird seed. I've never bought bird seed. I was like, what do we buy? We were kind of just like standing there at the bird seed, like this. This t together was like six dollars. So like if this does go crashing down, but anyways, the cats love. The cats love looking out this window. So I think to put it right there, I know somebody out there is gonna be like, birds are gonna crash into the window and die or get hurt. Like okay, <laughs> you probably eat chicken. Like <laughs> just kidding. I'm, the, I'm I'm not heartless. Like why are you gonna be so heartless? But we didn't know which one to got to get, so we got this. Uh, Hello, wild bird seeds. Do we get wild birds here? I have never seen these in the wild. I probably have, but I'm like texting or something like that. But like, this is like, there's like corn in here. We're like, get your grains, girl. And then I got water. Okay, I'm gonna watch hockey and game now. Bye. Watch me make a Corona sunrise. <laughs> We're drinking. I'm gonna make a Corona sunrise. So what you have to do, you get to start with, I don't know, like half a bottle of Corona. Something like that. About that. Then, oh. I'm already forgetting what I'm supposed to do. Apparently you put tequila in it. I don't have tequila. So we use vodka. That yeah, looks like a healthy amount. And I'm always spilling stuff. So for some reason I'm using a turkey baster. Oh, Jesus. I'm already fucking myself. 
should not be an influencer of any kind. Okay, so you pour in the orange juice. Oh, that was actually a pretty good amount. And then you're supposed to put grenadine in. I don't have grenadine. I have red maraschino cherries. I feel like this turkey baster sucks. Okay, I'm supposed to throw that in. I think I could put a little more in. Apparently, that's a Corona Sunrise. Mix it up a bit. Beer tastes better. <laughs> Here's the Corona Sunrise. If you guys saw it on Austin's story, but basically I was dead over the turkey baster. Okay, so we are doing the bird feeder now. It looks like Austin hot glued it. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> I'm in such a bad mood today, and I wasn't trying to like, like tell you guys that, but I was like literally the first time I've laughed today. I've just been like in a shitty mood, right? Right. I wanted to just vlog this part of it, and I cannot believe that was a hundred million percent not staged at all, like <laughs> at all. <laughs> So funny that that was caught on camera. Obviously, the universe is like, bitch, be happy, like just. <laughs> He just doesn't trust that it's a Dollarama suctioner, so we're not sure what to do. I said double-sided tape. I don't know. I have special <laughs> epoxy in the garage, but then it's never coming yeah, off. Yeah, That true. would ruin the window. Don't you just get just a little bit wet? That's what my tongue is for. Oh, it looks good. I want to see it fall again. I thought Austin was working out out here. I was like, oh my god, gym bro. But it's, it's just the it was to hold the gate up while they were doing the uh, the lawn, by the way. Yes, we need to... I was going to say vacuum. Who vacuums our lawn? We need to mow the lawn but oh. there's one <laughs> why is that so aesthetically pleasing man? Let's start with that okay and i placed it right on the bottom so i mean that feels pretty secure oh my god and it comes out here obviously but good job baby what you learned how things work <laughs> where are the rats with wings <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> I learned the best bird call because I knew somebody that was in, um, what's called like Boy Scouts. All you do is take your fingers like this, but they have to be separated just a little bit. And then you go, bird come here. <laughs> They're so intrigued by it. <gasps> I heard a bird. I told you it was a bird call from us. Come here, bird. <gasps> it was a bird. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I think I served supper today, literally. I Oh my God, the animals are jumping. Got some cheesy, cheesy, some che cheesy broccoli. I did this fancy thing. Ooh, we fancy like apple bees with some thyme on top of it and some soy sauce. I'm doing a TikTok of what I ate for the week. And then this is like a crock pot mushroom soup chicken. I don't know. If you guys want like full, full tutorials, uh, Zeph does. Or he's like, no, we do not. Uh, oh, okay. Yum. This is Austin's. Okay, Carly Steele, if you're watching this, look away now. Austin loves fake parm. <laughs> so he's got some garlic bread, some cheesy broccoli, and then he made like a pepperoni garlic bread, and then rice, um, work fa fake parm, and then some thyme as well. Girl, you know what? This this is Instagram. Here. Like literally, here's my Instagram versus this isn't real life girly. Here's the chicken. There's only two left. One of them fell apart because it's so tender. Oh my God. It's pretty much a mushroom gravy. This is real life where it does. Actually, it kind of looks good. No, where I really love to like smother my rice. Smother it. Mummy dearest I beat like that. That's real life. <laughs> and then he has lunch for work tomorrow. Period. So basically Vans, and I'm not gonna spoil it, but... It wasn't Vans. Oh, it wasn't Vans? Who was it? Hey Dudes. Oh, Hey Dudes. Pretty much Vans. <laughs> Collabed with a, a company, and I sent it to Austin, and he went on a hunt, and he's like, I need them. So he ordered them, they're here. I'm so excited for you, and I need to see how these oh are gonna God. be. Ready? Okay. Yes. The reveal. Oh. Stop. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, those are fresh. 
Those are definitely his style oh to a T. No way. I said Vans just because like, shouldn't you take a picture of them before? Oh my God. The inside's like a beach. It's like a Corona on the beach type vibe. They are not like too over the top. Like it's not how you would think like a Corona bottle. They're just like really like beachy vibe. They feel very lightweight, breathable. I try them on. Are you happy? Well, we'll see. We'll okay. See. Because uh, buying shoes blindly online is not me. Yeah. Because I'm always between 10 and a half and 11. Oh, they fit perfect. Oh my God, I'm so glad. Oh, they look really nice. Are you kidding me? <gasps> they look like you need to go on a vacation. Are you, you need to be on Sorry, a cruise. I'm taken. <laughs> I'm taken. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> I got a girlfriend. Look, <laughs> like, you need to be on a yacht. Oh, let's buy a yacht. Period. Oh my god, these oh are my god. sick. They're not like too like, these oh my like, god, they're Corona shoes. You know, like, they're just enough. They're so nice. Look at that. Look at that flex. Yeah, they're Corona. You can say I like Corona. And they're limited edition and pretty much sold out everywhere. Yeah. Good luck finding them. <laughs> okay, so here are the bags. They look like this. So they took like a month-ish. But yeah, I'm so glad he's happy with them. I knew they were his style. Yeah, I hate, I hate dudes. I don't even know what hey dudes are. I said Vans just because uh, he loves Vans. Like his style is Vans. But they're fun. They're fun. And they're good for summer. They were, oh, they weren't that bad. They were $74.95. Uh, $20 shipping. So they were $95.90 Canadian. So that's like what, like... 85 ish dollars us so like 100 bucks for shoes that are like limited edition like that pretty much like no one would have i think is really cool so it's a big like corona vlog like hey welcome to our corona vlog because he did his little corona thing but yeah oh my god <laughs> Hey guys, so um, I am doing a cameo right now. I'm setting up right now because it's a one year anniversary cameo and usually I do something like confetti or put a birthday hat on because they're usually like birthdays, but a one year anniversary, just the vibe I'm getting is like glittery. So I think like true sparkles, pink sparkles fashion, I'm gonna, um, especially because my makeup's like really like pink today. Also still learning the no nose contour. <laughs> I thought maybe. I know you guys hate when I like blow glitter or whatever, but I'm just gonna wash it off after. I'm gonna wash it off my deck after and then. Anyway, if blowing glitter triggers you, just click out now. Okay, I've built um, a tripod out of a bowl that I have to give back to my friend because they gave me some salad and then two mosquito pots. <laughs> and then I have my tripod here for the cameo. It's windy, so yeah, one shot, kid. Don't miss. Oh, I'm also sending my boyfriend nudes while he's at work so he gets off quicker and comes, no, no pun intended, so that he comes home quicker. <laughs> I'm like, LOL, come home. <laughs> it's a long weekend too, like, why are you working? I'm so toxic sometimes. It didn't work. He's like, I have a big job to do. Okay, this filter makes me look like Kim Kardashian. I mean, not. <laughs> I can't. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I feel like we need to like make this higher up. Can you take me higher? Ooh, yeah. This is what I had you guys up on. What the? Oh, I've heard some. One time somebody did this and it got stuck in their camera microphone. That would happen to me. I'm probably gonna ruin the lens on this. Wait, I need like this filter. Like it just doesn't look like me. They're gonna be like, who is that? There's a filter that I use that's just like it's just got a little bit of glow. Did they delete it? Oh my god, they deleted it. I had it favorite. I use it all the time just because it was just a little little touch. I'm mad. Me throwing the sprinkles everywhere. Sparkles. It's wanting me to use this one. Just wait, I'll show you. Hey guys, happy one year anniversary. Happy one year anniversary. Wait. Hey guys, happy one year anniversary. Hey guys, happy one year anniversary. Hey guys, Which happy. Is like my haters running my Snapchat filters? Like, <laughs> girl, bye. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, it wasn't there before. I think it just heard me. Here's the glitter. Happy one year anniversary, babies. Wow, does that even look like glitter? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> one year now just for the vlog here let's just do it for the vlog oh my god it's all over the table hi guys welcome to the vlog i got sparkles in my eyes did i ruin my camera <laughs> have a sparkly day it's all 
Not this. Not this. Look at me. The wind. Bye. I just um, air fried some hard boiled eggs for my lunch <laughs> and I ran out of ice. So I'm using the Stanley refills. At least it's something for an ice bath. Do not mind this. If you guys watch my last what I eat in a day, you can learn how to air fry an egg and it's perfect every time. Update on the face situation. I kind of just dusted it off. There's some sparkles over here, but like girl, I am pink sparkles. I don't mind, but it like got in my mustache and I don't mind if it's on my lips. So it's just like, it's like a, it's like a and glitter mustache. I literally did the glitter beard trend back in 2017 right now. Like I'm in, I'm in a crisis, but that's okay. And my mustache, I have a, a photo shoot that got rescheduled because the it's just been like raining so much here. So um, I'm waiting till like the last day so I don't have like legit stubble. So like, it's just, it's, <laughs> my hairy girls know. If you know, you know. But it looks like I did not ruin the camera, so it could for me. <laughs> okay guys, so um, after that glitter thing that was all like happy and fun or whatever, I think that uh, I need to move on to the more serious topic. The title of this video, the intro to this video and everything, and a lot, not a lot, but there have been some like speculations, some uh, tweets, some DMs, some concerns, some accusations, some just general questions. Anyway, basically, um, okay, let me just scooch back here a bit. I finished my cameos and I thought this would be the perfect time to come in here and let you guys know what the tea is, what the deal is, and not like some fake response, but like actually, like this is real, this is exactly. So in, for about like, I would say like two months, maybe even three months. So there has been, in my kitchen, there has been this, there has been this baggie filled with a white powdery substance for about a few months now. And some people have caught on to it. Some people like literally look at the background of so many things, which I appreciate because one time I was filming in the bathtub and I got out and I have like a mirrored dresser right here. Like literally it's mirrored. So like across here is my, uh, my bathroom. So people could see my whole naked body. So I deleted that video immediately. So I appreciate when people like look at the backgrounds of things but this like some people look at the backgrounds of ev everything like I've been accused of everything under the sun but this one I feel like it needs to be addressed so basically if you go back and watch like any vlog where I've been vlogging in the kitchen I like to vlog where there's like natural light coming in so the window where I film usually and if I'm in the kitchen uh, films like my entire back of my kitchen. So like things that are on the counter, etc. So there has been this white baggie filled with this powdery substance. Now, one thing I want to say is that baggie has stayed, um, the same amount for those past like two, two, I'm just gonna say two months just for this. It hasn't went down. It hasn't like went up. It's stayed the same. It's maybe switched positions because like I move my bills and you know, like move like keys around and stuff like that, you know, cooking and stuff. But basically um, people are like, what is this substance? I took a selfie just like this in the kitchen. I thought it was cute. And uh, so I had a reply on Snapchat that said, oop, with like the eyes emoji, like bag in the background. So if I zoom in in the background, you can clearly see a white baggie, but you can also see a bottle. I leave things on the counter. I'm bad at like putting stuff away. I also feel like I'm somebody that I feel like I could use it at a later date. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, what is the bag? There's also a vlog clip right here that a lot of people clocked right here. Okay guys, it's a little bit orange toned right now because the, it's honestly, it's gonna snow again tonight. It's gonna snow again tonight. We have snow in the forecast. I'm not looking forward to it. My nails are slay. They look so good. I'm so happy. So I, a few months ago, uh, wanted to re-pierce some of my old piercings. Now this is a, this is a, hold on, let me zoom in. This is a birthmark here. I don't know why I just like all of a sudden decided to arrive, but I have two or three holes here. I think only w one, one is open for sure, maybe two. And then I have three holes here, only two are open. I was trying, I actually pierced the second one on live on TikTok. And then the third one, she needs to get like professionally re-pierced or whatever. But I was wanting this one. This is like the main one and I vlogged about this. I don't have the vlog clips, but if you guys go back, you guys can see it. But basically um, I wanted my industrial back. I had it for so long and I was like missing it. So basically I tried to see if the jewelry fit and either this one or this one was like open. I think it was this one, but this one was open. Like I could like fit it. It was like a little tight, but I fit it. And then this one, it was not going. So I had to like pierce it myself. So I went into my old like piercing stuff, but I've always had this like, um, 
like piercing cleaning solution. It's this salt solution. I don't know if it's good or bad. Do not quote me. That's just something I've always kept in my drawers um, for if I was gonna get a new piercing. It's probably expired low key. Cool. So I pulled that out when I pierced this because it was bleeding, it was red, it was inflamed, it was swollen. I was like, I'm probably gonna get an infection, like bye. I just like to do things in the kitchen. So I would grab like a bowl of warm water, put that uh, that salt mixture in there, salt, and then like soak it or use a Q-tip or a cotton pad and soak it. Um, and then I bought on Amazon um, this like spray stuff because I was getting kind of concerned about it. It's basically this, it's, I have not used it, did not use it, but I'm thinking of re-piercing myself, um, my third holes or, some more of my like uh, cartilage up here or maybe even my tragus. I don't know. <laughs> I do not take piercing advice from me, but basically this is what I bought. So uh, it didn't arrive. It, it arrived in like a week from when I bought it. So I just started using that salt that I had. Um, and then when it arrived, I just like sat it right beside there. So when you're seeing that white bag, that is sitting right beside it. So when it came, I should say. But this healed on its own. It healed with that salt. So I haven't needed this, but I, when I was doing my research, this was apparently the best like uh, piercing cleaning solution. Do not do things at home if you're not a professional like me. I just one day I was like, I want this back. Like, like literally like shoved, like <laughs> some people are saying it's D-R-U-G. S, it is not. Let's go look at it together and then I will put it away so we do not see it in the background anymore. But I feel like selfies I take, um, vlog clips I have, people are like, oh girl, if like if I was doing that, would I just leave it in the open? And would I leave it in the open for months? I'm not trying to like be mean, but like, but like really, like no. Okay, so my boiled eggs are cooling down. They're pretty much good to eat now. Um, and then over here, you notice, a white bag and then some other things you know my keys bills stuff like that stuff i need to like sort out or whatever here here is what it's called it's not even opened because i did not need it because this worked this is the nail nail med piercing aftercare mist so if i want to do something else or if somebody else is having a piercing issue it's right there i'm gonna go put this away because i I need to clean it up, right? Here we go. But on the other side of it, it says this, this is like so old, like literally so old. It, it has like literally dust bunnies on it. That's why I was like, should I be using this? But I've had it. It is a natural sea salt. And then the directions are this with jewelry. It's not gonna be this price nowadays. I got this literally probably when I got my last lip piercing. So I've had it for so long, but I feel like salt doesn't expire. So um, yeah, you just take a little bit of this. It's literally salt. I will put them away. So I just spilt some on the counter. A new rumor is about to surface. <laughs> just trying to clean my piercings besties <laughs> but that just clears it up there thank you for those who are just asking or for like just wondering or whatever but that answers it Look, i don't even know <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go eat my hard-boiled eggs and watch some too hot to handle and edit a video so mwah!